The perfect use of a pastry bag and the different kind of pastry tips is essential in the pastry world. If you have not yet learned the techniques of piping, today you should pay close attention to all the lessons and tips I'll be teaching here. Hello, I'm Carlos Salgado, and in this tutorial I'll teach you all the techniques and tips of piping and decoration. We no doubt appearance helps the appetite, so a good cake or dessert has to look really pretty. On many occasions, Simple but perfect decorations make a big difference. Using the pastry bag and different types of piping tips could seem a very difficult challenge to overcome. But by following all the steps I'll give here, you will see how you will be able to acquire enough skills to start creating cakes and desserts like the ones you see in magazines or social media. So let's get started. First, you must have a roll of disposable pastry bags. Then, you should have a basic set of pastry tips. The most common are the round and the star tips. The star tips have different shapes for different patterns. Open, French or close. Finally, we have those pastry tips more advanced or professional, such as the flat one, the Saint Honoré or the Mont Blanc. For the beginners, I suggest that the best way to start is using the round tip. Now I will explain to you the right way to fill a pastry bag. First, insert the pastry tip. Insert part of the pastry bag into the nozzle. This is to prevent the content from spilling out of the bag at the time of filling. Now cut off the excess. Use your hand as support. The widest part of the pastry bag will cover the back of your hand. Don't fill the pastry bag more than 75% full. If you have enough pastry bag left, make a knot. Otherwise, use a bit of plastic wrap. You can also use a jar as a support for the pastry bag. And here you have the pastry bag ready to use. So let's start with the round tips. First, to acquire a good technique, you must practice straight lines. Keep the pressure and stop when you are done. You can stop and immediately make a flick of the wrist. Once you are able to pipe smooth lines, without cuts or differences in thickness, you will be ready to practice with other type of shapes. For example, you can make dots or kisses. Press, stop and release. Lift the pastry bag when releasing to make a peak. Let's take a closer look. You can make this type of decoration. Perfect for covering a cake with meringue. Also, you could stop with a flick of wrist and you will get semi-spheres, ideal when making profiteroles or some type of cookies and meringues. Also, you could use this technique. Place the tip at 45 degrees, press, stop and release towards the bottom tray. Here you could see the result. Make perfect spirals for cakes. or swirls, perfect for cupcakes. Springs, hearts, zigzags, creativity has no limits.
Now let's take a look at the start tips. Here you can apply the same techniques that you use with the round tips. Press, stop, release. Straight lines, perfect for eclairs. Little kisses or rosettes. You could see here different decorations for cupcakes. And here, several decorations for cakes. Once you get enough skills to decorate with round and star tips, you can start to create or decorate with other type of pastry tips, for example the flat ones. With these pastry tips, you can make this type of very simple but eye-catching designs. Pipe with a larger edge, point in the vase and then make this type of zigzag. You can get this kind of ruffles. Make spirals using a revolving cake stand. Work with this ribbon tip and make these waves. Work with the tip at 45 degrees and like a pendulum. You could make this classic basket decoration as well. Here you can see these special pastry tips, like the San Honore one, whose name comes from the San Honore cake. This cake has this classic spike design.
Work with the tip at 45 degrees, go forward a little and press. Then stop and go backwards very quickly and release. You could make this false spiral. Or even free designs. Here I give you a tip. The shape of the San Honore pastry tip could also be achieved by cutting the tip of the piping bag diagonally. Here you can see it. You also have the Mont Blanc tip, whose name comes from the Mont Blanc dessert. You can make spaghetti or create this grass effect. And last but not least, we have this tip that I use most of the time to make petals or leaves. You could use it to make quite original decorations. Don't hesitate and start practicing with the pastry bag. You can use instant mashed potatoes or whipped cream. Remember to start with the round tips and making straight lines. You will be able to work with more complex pastry tips and very original designs. Remember that all the videos have a version in English, Spanish and Portuguese. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe for more pastry lessons. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.